Hello everybody, Queen Static here, and welcome to a special DIY. Today we are making glow-in-the-dark stars. This is what you'll need. You will need some glow-in-the-dark stars. These can be found at most stores, you know, like um, Walmart, Target, any of those stores. You'll need some magnetic sheets. I bought these ones at Walmart. You can get them at anywhere, any craft store. Um, you'll need an exacto knife or scissors just to help with the precision cutting and you'll need a marker you don't necessarily need a marker but it's a lot easier the first step that you're going to do is get out one of the magnetic sheets and one star all you need is one star now don't do what I did and put the knife there like that that's bad um, what you will do is you'll grab a star and you will grab your marker so you'll place the star as close to the edge as you can without going off the edge of the magnetic sheet. And you will trace around the star with the permanent marker. Now I sped this part up just a little bit because I did the whole row. Now this is basically gives you an outline for, for your stars and for the magnets. They don't have to be perfect, so just try your best. That's all I can ask. Then you're going to take your exacto knife or your scissors. If you're using scissors, just cut straight across and then cut out each star individually. But if you're using an exacto knife, you can use it the same exact way that I'm using it right now. You can just cut around the star. Sometimes you have to press a little bit harder because you are going through a magnet, so it can be a little bit difficult at times. But just take your time so you don't cut your hand or cut your fingers or anything like that. You know. Arts and crafts take some time. So, yeah. As you can see, I cut around the whole star. And you'll see that I have some difficulty with it, and I have to go back and I have to go re cut over some spots, which is perfectly fine. You know, that's what this is about. This does not have to be perfect. You'll see why in a little while. <laughs> And if you get to the point, this point, you can just kind of tear the pieces off if you're using an X-Acto knife. That's one of the reasons why the X-Acto knife works so well. Because then you can just tear off the outside pieces of the magnet or the magnetic sheet. Kind of like punching out um, like something, like the coins or whatever that come in games. and the pieces that come in games, that's what I want to try to say. <laughs> Not the coins, wow. Alright, so I got one, so I'm going to speed up the process for the rest of them because you guys will probably get bored seeing a slow-mo of the same exact thing. So. I'm doing the same thing for each one of them. I'm going to do the other method with the scissors, or not with the scissors, um, there's another method that I have, I'm sorry, not with scissors. I'm going to try to do another method in a little while, um, after I'm all done cutting out these stars, um, there's another method that I have that people might like a little bit better, so you could do it either one of these ways. To me, I just like tracing them out and cutting them, you know, the... I guess meticulousness. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, that would definitely definitely helps a lot.
So when you're done cutting out the shapes, you're going to take out the stars. I think that this was about six stars, I believe. And you're going to take the star. Um, you can put whatever side you want down. I decided there was a little bit flatter of a side on these stars, so I decided to use that. And what you can't see right now, because I'm a goofball, but what you can't see right now is me peeling the back off the magnetic sheets. Now these are the, um, the pre, like, sticky magnetic sheets. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the star and place it on the magnetic backing, as you guys can see I did here. I'm going to speed up the rest of them. Um, as you guys can see, they're not perfect. There is some overlap on some of them. You're not going to be able to put them on there perfectly unless, you know, you decided to take off all the magnetic stuff and stick a star to each one and then cut it out that way. But, you know, this way you have about the rough guessment of a size. This one's a little bit better. You can actually see me placing the star. That's why I slowed this one down a little bit. So you're going to take the X-Acto knife and you're going to cut around the star and cut off all the excess magnetic sheet that you don't need. Now I'm pretty sure I keep stopping because it gets stuck to your fingers. Because it does. It's already pretty sticky, basically. So, you know, there's no glue involved. It's pretty easy to make this, but... I think it's going to be cool to have magnetic glow in the dark stars, to be honest with you. But, yep, just cut off all the excess. Um, a couple of these stars had pointed, kind of like pointy things on the sides of them, and you'll see me like get tripped up by them a couple times. But it's still, I still cut off all the excess that I could. Okay, so this is what the first method, this is what the stars look like. They look kind of dark, um, but, wow, I'm saying them a lot. They look kind of dark, but they should still be working the same way. They should still glow in the dark, and they should work as magnets. Or they will work as magnets, too. Which is the fun part. I really, I think that that's cool. This is the second method. Um, I didn't have a ruler handy on me. You can use a ruler to be more exact if you want to. But this is just drawing a square box around the star each time. And this method's probably a little bit more meticulous. Um, probably takes, I don't know. This, this method might be easier, I don't know. But I think the other method is fun for kids to like be able to trace. This one is probably not as fun for kids to trace because they just get to draw squares. But then you're going to take the exacto knife or scissors and you're going to cut the, out each square individually. So, you can see here, I just kind of tear it once it gets enough, once I get cut through enough. And I do this with each individual square. I was going to say, I wasn't sure why I wasn't speeding it up, but I sped it up. Okay, good. <laughs> And then when you're done with the squares, you're going to peel the backing off of the squares like you did with the stars. And I'm counting how many are here. I believe that there's also six here as well. So each one of these methods makes six stars. So that's about all that will fit across. So peel the backing off. You place the star onto the square. And you do this with all of them. And 
It doesn't matter how you place them on there as long as you get the stars placed on there. Now these are really hard to take off once you get them on, so try to be as precise as you can. And you're going to take your exacto knife or your scissors again, and you're just going to trim off the excess like we did before with the first method, but this time you're going to be cutting more off than what you did. Now I recommend cutting in between each section of the star first and then going back and cutting off the edges of the stars after. Kind of like what I did here. I cut the like triangular part and then I cut off the edge. I feel like that's a little bit easier than trying to cut in a weird way. And I'm leaving, I left this footage in here just so that you guys could see, you know, what the difference was between these. And yes, I kept getting them stuck to my hand, so if you're doing this, do it on a bigger surface than what I'm doing it on. And then you can push them off to the side while you're working on the other ones. Okay, and this is the final result of all the stars. This is all 12 of them. Um, six are from the first method and six are from the second method. I think that they turned out great. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you guys like this DIY thing because I can do a lot more DIYs. And also leave a like if you guys liked this video. And wow can't talk today. If you guys would like to, you can hit that subscribe button down below and become part of the static sphere. Because we all know that we all want to become part of the static sphere. So remember, as always, share a smile and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.